I'm Jouni Taskinen, professor of aquatic sciences from the University of Jyväskylä. And this is Konnevesi Research Station. This is where we do our research on the endangered freshwater pearl mussel. Margaritifera margaritifera, to give the Latin name, is really fascinating species. It begins its life as a tiny larva and may live up to 200 years or even more. But the life cycle is fragile. First, we need to have Atlantic salmon or brown trout in the river as a suitable host for the pearl mussel. Then, when the Glochidia are fully developed, and drop off from the fish host. They need to have very clean substrate, gravel or sand. And today, many of our rivers and watersheds are modified so that we are polluting the rivers with fine sediments. The fine sediments will stop the water exchange in the gravel bed and the young mussels will suffocate and die. I've been doing research into the freshwater pearl mussel for 10 years. We have come to realize that we may need to give nature a helping hand if we want the species to survive in our rivers. We have been attempting to breed the freshwater pearl mussels for two years now, and there has been a lot of surprises. We needed to bring the adult mussels to the laboratory first to feed them and to get them in a good condition in order to get the Glochidia. Here we have mussel food. We give them this uh, marine microalgae. Uh, these two kind of different, different mixes. And I just will pour a little bit of both to this cup that I have actually put some markings on it so that I know how much to give to them. And we do this every day, seven days in a week during the summer. And uh, during the winter time when the mussels are not so active, we feed them well three days in a week. We are very excited by Fresh Habit. It's going to allow us to try out some new things and hopefully achieve our long had ambition of reintroducing fresh fruit pearl mussels to some of Finland's rivers. I'm here at River Kiskonjoki to find out if the freshwater pearl mussel population is declining. And if it is, we may need to introduce a captive breeding at uh, Konovesi Research Station. We are making a survey of the mussels here in River Kiskonjoki and also in River Karviajoki. We are investigating underwater the old known and also the potential living areas of the freshwater pearl mussel and they are the rapids and also stream pools where trout and salmon species are living and migrating. And if you find any freshwater pearl mussels, we will also see if they are breeding. Today we found five uh, river mussel species, but didn't find any freshwater pearl mussel. Does that mean that we need to reintroduce the species here? Yeah, it could be possible to reintroduce the species here in Kiskoyoki. Hello, I'm Jouni Taskinen. Hey, Juha Pekka Vähä. So Juha Pekka, how are you going to survey this river today? We are going to do an electric fishing survey. This is a harmless and quick way to, to collect fish in the, in the running water, like uh, rapids like this. What are the results of the survey, Juha Pekka? We got seven different species, including the juvenile brown trout, but we couldn't find signs of any Glochidia. So, unfortunately, yeah, we didn't get an indication that the pearl mussel is uh, inhabiting this stream. The trout is reproducing very nicely here and, and, and the water quality looks to be good. It's only the solid particles that might be a problem. 
the results here in Mustionyoki, Karyanyoki river system and in Kiskonyoki river show how important it is for us to continue our captive breeding work. The exciting thing about fresh habit life IP is that it will improve water quality and the habitat in a coordinated way based on scientific research. The Fresh Harry project uh, helps us to collaborate more with different organizations. This will help us to pool the scientific knowledge and use it for the benefit of these Finnish rivers and lakes. Fresh Habit Life IP is the largest ever life project in Finland. This project aims at improving the ecological status, management and sustainable use of freshwater habitats in our country. Usually the experts and scientists on agriculture, forestry and nature protection are working in their own silos. But in this project brings these experts together. Well, we have uh, been able to collect uh, quite a big number of uh, interesting beneficiaries around the nature and water sectors. It's a really big family of uh, beneficiaries, one that we could not have uh, achieved with a traditional life project.